Hi, my name's Poppy. And I'm Lysander. Today we're here with South Australia's first ever Commissioner for Children and Young People. Her name is Helen Connolly. Her job is to protect all the children and young people across South Australia. Poppy and I were involved in her selection. We think it's only right that we have a review of her progress over the last few months and see what she's been up to, whilst giving you a good idea of who Helen is. How you make sure that you always connect the children? Will you have a reference group or some other way to ensure that you hear children's voices and opinions? So hearing children's voices and opinions is the most important part of my job, I think. And so what I want to be able to do is have lots of different ways. Because what I know is that some young people like to sit on advisory groups. Some young people like to send their thoughts on email. Some young people want to write stories or do pieces of art to tell me what they're thinking. So my hope is that I can have a whole range of ways that we can um, hear the voices of young people. But I think what will be the most important thing going forward will be I'll get out and about. So I'm going to make sure that I spend as much time as I can speaking with young people, listening to them directly, uh, and asking about the things that really matter to them. So lots of different ways, uh, and hopefully that means that we can spread the message far and wide across South Australia. Do you think there could be some other way to involve children in decision-making about things that are important to kids, like the environment, current affairs and other issues, youth parliament being involved in schools or visiting schools? I think there are lots of different ways that we can get young people to be involved in those really important things Um, because I know from speaking with young people that things like climate change and the environment and equality and opportunity are things that you talk about and things you're really interested in. So we need to make sure that your voices are heard not just by me but by the people who are actually making those laws or those policies. So my office will work out different ways that we might be able to get direct involvement of young people in those decisions and it might be through Um, citizens' juries, it might be through children's conferences, it might be through actually existing advisory groups having a focus on something that we think is really important. So there'll be lots and lots of ways that we can get uh, children and young people really involved in in decision making in this state. How many children and young people have you helped so far? So since I started um, I've been doing a listening tour and so I think I've today spoken with about 950 uh, under 18 year olds directly uh, and probably oh i don't know maybe more than a thousand in places where i've gone like events or schools or school assemblies so i've talked with lots and lots of young people at the moment you spoke about the listening tour before can you please tell us more about it So the listening tour has been my way of really trying to understand what's important for children and young people in South Australia and then I asked them if they they could, uh, if they had the authority or the power, what would they do to change something in South Australia to make life better either for them or for other children and young people. And the third thing I get them to do is to say, okay, what's the one thing you think I should do in my role as commissioner? So what should I prioritise? And all the other things are important, but if you have to think of one thing, what's that going to be? And so that's where 950 of them have written me a piece of paper that says the one thing I think Helen should do is dot, 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 and then they filled it in. These last two questions will be a bit more personal. Um, How do you spend your free time? I don't get much free time, but when I do, um, I like to spend time at home, I like to walk my dog on the beach, and I like to do gardening. Every year I participate in the Premier's Reading Challenge. I've just finished reading The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, and I and I've enjoyed it immensely. Do you enjoy reading? Can you recommend any books to me? I love reading. I love Douglas Adams' books, so I really like The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy series, and I read all of them. Uh, problem is at the moment I go to bed, I'm so tired, I fall asleep and I never I'm, have great intentions of reading but I never get round to it. So when I go on holidays I always have a book with me and I think I like autobiographies and biographies because I'm pretty interested in people 
uh, and what's happened to them in their life stories. At the moment, probably couldn't recommend any age-appropriate book, but maybe my challenge for this year is to read some of the books that children and young people are reading and see what they're enjoying, because a lot of people have told me that they really enjoy reading. So that's my challenge. Next year I'll come back and I'll have a recommended list for you. We out. We done.